Hey guys, so for this DIY, you're going to need a 6 by 8 inches canvas. This is from Dollar Tree. Um, they do have different sizes. Also, it depends on what paint you have. You can use Apple Barrel paint or you can just use chalk paint. I have this Waverly chalk paint in ballet slippers from Walmart, but use whatever you have on hand. Um, I also have this. This is a cardstock um, bunny from Target, but you can use like a printable. Just print it out on cardstock because cardstock is a little bit thicker. What I want to do is just place it on top of the canvas and just center it so that way when I start working on it, it is in the center of the actual canvas. And I'll be taking my paint, I just put some on a lid and then I kind of want to remove that excess paint because what I'm trying to do is do it kind of like dry brushing it but what I want to do is flicker it outwards from the actual like stencil so that way that you don't get a whole lot of paint underneath and what this does is also it dries really quick because you don't have a lot of paint also it gives that distress look because you're not completely fully painting the canvas you can see some of the white underneath but it still kind of covers it now, I'm just, you know, trying to, like, dab some of that excess paint off of the brush. And just kind of, as you can see, is I'm flickering it outwards and still trying to hold it with my hand. I, I didn't tape it off or anything. I didn't glue it. I just placed it on top of it. This is the easiest way. I did try to actually, like, outline a bunny and then paint it white and paint the outside pink it, this is actually the easiest thing or the easiest way that you could do it because you're not really taping anything down and it still came out really good I think there was like a little spot that you know I got a little bit of paint but that was my mistake and it was actually like right now where by the ear other than that, it looked really nice and you'll see it once I take off the actual bunny that's in the middle. Okay, and once I'm done, I'm taking it off. You can see it's pretty nicely um, clean. And then I have an X-Acto knife and just going around the back of the canvas and taking off the actual canvas. What this is actually called is reverse canvas. And as you can see, you just wanna take off this excess canvas that you have because you will be staining the actual uh, wood piece and this is the actual once it's dry with the frame of the canvas I just wanted to sand it down with some Dollar Tree sandpaper and then this is some wood stain I am using the dark walnut I've had this for a long time and I've got it on clearance but I'm taking a foam brush from Dollar Tree and just going around the whole edges and making sure that I do cover it completely don't forget about the inside and the outside um do protect your hands when you are using the actual stain i didn't have any gloves so i just try to be careful but other than that i mean you know you always want to protect your surface
Once you have your frame, just let it sit overnight so it could dry. Then I'm taking scissors and as you can see where we painted, it kind of gave you the outline. So I just want to take off that excess canvas all around the frame because we don't need it and it's just excess. So I'm just going around and cutting it. After I do that, I want to go ahead and glue the frame to the canvas and this is pretty self-explanatory just make sure you have it straight when you glue it down now I, before I do that I did want to share this this is a burlap from Dollar Tree what I'm going to be doing is in a rosette they call it a rosette I'm trying to do like a rose out of fabric or this one is burlap and this is gonna be the bunny tail but I wanted to show you guys how I do it one thing I do recommend is when you are doing it you fold it and then fold it another half of that and then just kind of turn it into a little like the center of a rosebud and then you're going to go all around it by twisting the burlap. I hope this makes sense. It's kind of hard to do with burlap. But what I recommend is as you're turning it and you are twisting it, make sure that you're gluing it. That's my mistake. I should have showed you guys that. But I had to unravel it and then um, go ahead and glue every time I kind of twisted it I glued it down so I can make my burlap rosette Okay, then I'll be gluing the frame around the canvas. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just go around and glue it down. Um, it just make sure that it is centered. Um, I did not, um, well I did, but then I ended up having that excess canvas on the side. So I think I was a little bit off by it, but I will go ahead and take that off with the X-Acto knife. All you have to do is turn it around and cut that excess, excess canvas from the back of the frame. It's really easy. You could even take scissors, but there wasn't a whole lot to take off. So I just did the exacto acto knife. Um, just make sure that some of that frame part isn't showing because then it's going to look sloppy. So I did go ahead and clean that up and took off that excess canvas that was around the frame. Then if you have twine, there's some from the Dollar Tree. I just made a little bow and you can do this like a bow tie or you can do it as a like girl bow. So that's what I'll be doing is using this as like a little bow for a little girl. Um, I want it to be a girl. <laughs> so I went ahead and put it up by the ear and then I'm going to glue down the fabric or the burlap rosette. And this is going to be the bunny tail. And I'm just adding a lot of glue. Just make sure you don't add too much that it's like kind of excess. So I did want to go ahead and add that on there. And that is it for my DIY. I hope you guys liked it. It's really cute and rustic to me and I had fun doing this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to bring you guys more and I will see you guys in another one.